All right, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss further into the natural exponential function and now look at graphing it or graphing basically y equals e to the power of x right here. And, and graphing it, it's pretty straightforward. We'll go over the steps in it. Uh, first thing you should do is just look at when you look at this one here, this is an exponential function, so e to the power of x. Uh, x could be anything, it could be negative, it could be zero, and then this function is still defined. So we'll just write the domain is going to be, well, x is all real numbers. So we go x, element of all real numbers. And uh, you usually write, write it like this, this means element is really all real numbers. And it just basically means x could, x could be, uh, goes from negative infinity to infinity, it doesn't matter, so x is equal to. So basically, this is the domain of it. And the range, as you can see from this one here, you can't make this negative. When you put any value of x right here, uh, e to the power of anything or any any number power of anything, you can't have it negative. So the, the range is going to be, well, is going to be basically greater than 0. So we'll go e to the x is greater than 0, or you can write it as from 0 to infinity right here. That's what it can be. Yeah, and basically you could, uh, yeah, basically it could be anything that's greater than zero. So when you look at this one right here, I'll even go over the asymptote here. What you could do is check what happens when the limit as x approaches. Let's go from the negative infinity first of e to the x. So what happens with this when you plug it in, it looks something like, we'll just plug this in, it'll be e to the power of negative infinity. I'm, I'm using an arrow because you can't use an equal sign because it's a limit, right? We're not actually plugging it in. We're just saying that we're approaching it. So when you do this, this equals to one, uh, just, just flip it around, it's gonna be e to the infinity. Now the bottom is gonna approach infinity, so you're gonna go one, and this is approaching infinity. So again, this is approaching one divided by uh, anything really large like that is approaching zero. So this equals to zero as you go to the left side, and this makes basically an asymptote line. Note this becomes the x-axis is an asymptote line. Yeah, or basically x-axis is a horizontal asymptote because it's zero right here, so can't get anywhere less than that one. And now when you look at the limit as x approaches infinity right here of e to the power of x, this basically, um, again, once again, just plug it in, use an arrow here, e to the infinity. And again, e to infinity is just going to be a really large number that's approaching infinity. So again, this equals to infinity. That's the limit. So just getting get higher and higher. And now when you look at yeah the derivative of uh, e to the x, well in my earlier video I showed that the derivative of e to the x right here, or dy over dx, is equal to itself. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, and again this is greater than zero. So this is greater than zero, this just means that it's increasing right here. Yeah, so now that uh, it's increasing here, what we could do now is check the concavity, or whether it's concave up or down, and we do that using the second derivative test, or basically take the second derivative, so d squared uh, y dx squared. Again, this is the same thing as writing d squared e to the x. as the second derivative of e to the x dx squared. This is notation for the second derivative, and this again, we know that the first derivative is e to the x. So taking the derivative of the first derivative, that's going to be again e to the x. It's the same thing. You can learn more about this in the video link below. But uh, once again, it's going to be zero. I mean, it's, it's greater than zero. So if it's greater than zero, but this is greater than zero everywhere, this function is never less than zero. So it's concave up basically at all values of x and y right here. So it's always concave up. And we also know that when we plug in zero into the zero, this equals to just one. So now, yeah, we could learn more about this in the power function and their properties. So that's just one. And now you can put it all together and graph it out. Yeah, so now when we have, uh, here's an x, y axis to graph it out. We know that at this point here, this is when x is equal to zero, y is one, so that's the function uh, value there. And now we know that at negative infinity, you're approaching the x, asympt uh, x axis, which is the horizontal asymptote, and that's just the value of zero. And you know that it's always increasing and it's always concave up, so it looks like something like this, and it, it crosses through the zero one point, and it keeps going up exponentially higher and higher. So this is basically at infinity, and this is the e to the x curve. Yeah, basically, and then then at this point is negative infinity and approaches zero. So it's a simple curve like this, goes up like that, always increasing and always concave up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyways, that's all for you. Hopefully, hopefully you learned from this video, and thanks for watching. And also, uh, basically, if you want to download these exact notes, you can see the video links below. And also, you can even just go to mes.ph slash notes slash 5364, the, the PDF version of these notes. Or if you want to edit them yourself for whatever purpose, you can download the, the word one, just put a W at the end 
of the link and you just get there and these are once again in the video links below i mean in the links below and in the description anyways that's all for now if you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution